to Miss Cindy's Kitchen. And now that it's several people's favorite time of year, we're heading into the Super Bowl. And that's going to be a time where you have lots of gatherings and lots of snacks. So I'm going to show you a four ingredient treat that, in a, from a recipe book that I found when we went to In Your Wildest Dreams with Travel by Nature. It is called Pizza Parlor Crescents. It calls for an eight ounce tube of crescent rolls, which you'll find in your refrigerator case, 24 slices of pepperoni. This has 70, so we'll have leftovers for another recipe. And 14 ounce of pizza sauce. And it calls for two cups of shredded mozzarella, which is half of a one pound block that I got. And it's always preferable to shred your own because it's fresher and it melts better. So don't forget to like and subscribe and give me your feedback because I love hearing from you. And I've heard people say that opening a can of refrigerator biscuits is kind of like the adult version of a Jack in the Box. I usually just whack it on the counter. Maybe the sharp edge would help. There we go. And there we go. And we're going to divide this into four squares. So just put it on your ungreased pan and roll it out. See, it looks like a bunch of little triangles. So, try to center this evenly on here. So basically, you're going to be making four little triangles and you pinch four little rectangles. You pinch your triangles together, pinch the seams, and then just do that. Gotta pinch it together. So you, you rather than pull them apart, you... Right, because you're making rectangles that you're gonna roll rather than triangles oh. that you're making into crescents. So, and this will cook at 375 for 12 minutes. So while we're doing that, always set your oven to temperature before you start your prep work. So that way it will be ready to go once your food's ready to cook. So I'm just gonna separate these two. Just to make it easier, I'm using a knife. All right, and it says to arrange six slices of pepperoni on each portion. So we're going to do that. That's a, that pepperoni looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do we have smell of vision yeah. here? <laughs> All right. Now, truthfully, you could, if you, you could use like sausage or salami or other meats, right? Could you, you could, but if you're going to the store to get the mozzarella, I may as well get the pepperoni because pepperoni is more of a traditional pizza ingredient. But whatever your preference is, if you want to have something weird like vegan pepperoni, go right ahead. I didn't even know they made vegan pepperoni. Oh, there's beyond everything right now because of all the uh, fake meat out there. I can never understand the fake meat. It's like, by the time you eat all the processed chemicals, what's the harm to your body versus just eating the meat in the first place? I don't know. Anyway, that piece is kind of small, so. There's our 24 slices of pepperoni. I kind of stuck an extra piece on there because the other one was so little. So, then we top with the cheese. Yum, cheese. Cheese. So just divide your two cups of cheese between the four sections. And this is actually the first time I've made this because I was looking for appetizers for and finger foods for Super Bowl parties and you know just whenever our family gets the munchies. I always try like to try new things because I get bored of fixing the same things all the time. I don't think my family gets bored of eating the same things all the time, but I sometimes like to venture out and try new things and buy new cookbooks. Well, new to me, 
they're often they're often antiques or been out a little bit. So now we're going to it says to roll it lengthwise. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna roll them all and then I'll cut them into sections. Do that. And you roll it towards you. So it says you're looking. It's just easier because you can see what you're doing better. It's personal preference. And then again, got to make sure we close the seams or else the uh, crescents will pop open while they're cooking. And oftentimes it actually works better if you have your canned biscuits at room temperature because when they're cold and straight from the fridge, they sometimes don't uh, hold together very well. So then we're going to cut these into four pieces each so we're going to cut it in four pieces i'll do half and then half again does that look good and that's not even baked yet whoops i'm gonna have to seal it. pinch that seam a little bit better the seams are being a little bit standoffish to each other. They're like, no, don't touch me. Like siblings in the back seat of a car. <laughs> I saw this one video where this dad put up partitions between his children's car seats in the back seat simply because he couldn't focus on driving because his kids are constantly bickering. Well, when they couldn't see each other, they stopped bickering. You think they'd eventually just take a nap like ours do? Yeah. All right. I remember one time being told that, you know, our kids would instantly fall asleep the moment that the Beach Boys would be put on the radio. Yeah, because <laughs> Grandma would take them on road trips. And that was the balm for the kids. And for, for her, too, so she could focus on driving without having the kids going, Are we there yet? No, go back to sleep. All right. So. These are... Uh, not going to be the prettiest presentation, but I'm sure they're going to taste great. So you're going to end up with 16 pieces. So we're going to put these in the oven at 375 for 12 minutes. And then we'll come back and show you what they look like. So let's take them to the oven. All right. I'm going to put that in there. And set my timer for 10, I mean 12 minutes, goes to 10 first and to 12. All right, so while that's baking, just sit back and relax and we'll be right back with you. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, the reveal. Let's bring him back over here. So these have, again, these have baked at 375 for 12 minutes. So, nice and golden brown and melty. This would even be a quick after school snack for kids or <laughs> after work snack for adults. <laughs> <laughs> or a quick lunch. So again, I would try to get the uh, seams sealed up a little tighter, but we're not being graded on presentation. So there is a couple and I'm going to plate two sets of these so they can cool off for just a second because we can't do a taste test and scald our mouths because that would kind of take the fun out of things. Well, we could, but we just wouldn't be able to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the reasons you want to shred your own cheese straight from the block. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Because the cheese won't melt properly if it's the prepackaged kind because it tends to, it has a cellulose dust on it to um, prevent the caking and sticking. And cellulose is made from wood pulp. 
And so, personally, I don't like wood pulp in my cheese. But if it's more convenient or a better price to get the pre-shredded, you can do that. It just may not melt as well as this. So, and these are served with pizza sauce. This, this, this bottle was actually cheaper than buying the jar of sauce. And I figured it's the same ingredient. Tomatoes. Nowadays, 50 cents or 60 cents is on one item is a big savings if you spread it out a little bit. So you just squirt it into a little condiment cup like ketchup. And then once these aren't so beastly hot, they can have a little taste test. But anyway, thank you for watching again today and for liking and subscribing and giving us your feedback. And we, we will soon have some more appetizer recipes for you. Um, so that way when you have friends and family over in the next uh, month or so for all the games, you'll have some fresh appetizers to try. And now that the pizza bites have cooled off enough to taste, the guys are going to give them a, a taste test and let you know what they think. So Tyler, what do you think? Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, huh? Oh yeah. What do you think of them with the sauce? <laughs> Try them with the sauce. Try them with the sauce. It's too busy eating. <laughs> Good stuff? Yes. Okay. And Logan? Get a bite of one. Here. Dipped in the sauce. <laughs> good stuff. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Simple and tasty. Mm -hmm. So now we've got a, an easy treat you can fix for your kids or for your family for a quick lunch or snack. And especially come game day because we have a lot of playoffs and the Super Bowl coming up. So we look forward to seeing you again real soon and you'll have more appetizers to try. Have a great day. Thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen. To get more recipes like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it out to your friends, family, and neighbors, and leave us a comment to let us know how this recipe worked for you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Again, thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen.